Hello, good evening, everyone. Okay, no problem, Boris, please. Eyes on the road, all right? Eyes on the road. Stay safe. Okay, people. Teacher. Tell me. Hello, Eulise. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm so glad to hear you, Eulise. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, I I need to know what do you mean, what does it mean? Road. Oh, road. R-O-A-D. In la carretera. Road. Like this. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Eyes on the road. It's because Boris said he was driving. He is driving. Okay, thank you. That is why. I'm sorry, I will lose it. Okay. Okay, welcome everybody. Today is your class number 20. Yes, teacher. Yes, today is the class number 20. Yes, we are almost at the end, right? <laughs> yeah, because this is the last week but one. Okay, this is the last week but one. So it means it's la penultima, the penultim, right? Aquí lo voy a escribir en el chat. The last week but one, o sea que quiere decir que falta solo una semana, que okay? it left only one week to the end of this course. Teacher. Tell me. And in this week, uh, we, we are in section three or four? No, three, number three. three. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And the topic for this, uh, well, from Monday to till tonight is unit three, branding. Okay. Branding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, dear class, let's start then. Let's start. I'm so happy that you are all here. And the topic tonight is the same as yesterday, but with just a slight difference, all right? Just a slight difference, even though it's a grammar thing too, okay? Grammar, we're going to try to do this kind of interesting and we're going to do some exercises to understand the whole content. Remember the structures, when they are new, Maybe they are kind of confusing, but don't let the grammar uh, make you feel frustrated, okay? Uh, you have to change your mind and <laughs> look this really, uh, let's say, carefully, okay? Look at this really carefully. But this is easy. This is easy. This is... Uh, Topic that we are going to get with uh, with practice, okay? With practice. All right, Lorena, no problem. So here we are. Let's get started by introducing the class. I need to do it in a very good way. Okay, here we go. Today, we have the causative verbs again, but this is the second part. So we are going to see other causative verbs and we are going to practice two more, okay? two more causative verbs. According to our manual, today we are going to, uh, to, to study the, um, the verbs let and help. 
Okay, let and help. Yesterday we studied uh, the verb make and get. All right, make requires just the base form of the verb, and the verb uh, get requires the particle to infinitive, right? Infinitive. Okay. So today we are in our class number 20. This is constitute verbs in a second part because we want to see two more. So the class 20 objective is that you will learn how to use causative verbs, these two causative verbs. Remember, let and help. All right. Well, we want to do a general feedback, okay, about voc vocabulary. Remember, this is not a class of marketing. This is an English class. So we want to learn the vocabulary, how to define the terms, how to express ideas, how to understand ideas too, okay? Ap applicable to the context of marketing. So uh, we want to discuss just a little uh, statements or questions because this is our class about. And we will see the causative verbs in a second part. Then we have some written exercises in the, in the breakout rooms. Maybe we are going to do some online worksheets. And well, the homework assignment is, uh, it's a must, right? You must do your homework. And it's about the usage of causative verbs. It, it is, to be up to date in your platform, guys, you need to do, you need to submit three point, allow me to check this out. We had it right here. 3.9, all right, 3.9. That is the homework you should do. Okay, then let's start from the first topic about branding. We started to study branding. And we gave some concepts. So let's remember. Miss Karen, welcome. Okay. Eulise. Okay, here we've got what branding is. Okay, so please read these two parts. Branding is the mm -hmm. just read. Uh, for for me is branding is like uh brand and when when um, business or company create a brand or build a brand, uh, uh, it, and, and it create a concept about, about products and also create promotion, uh launch uh i don't know teacher uh, uh but great you're doing a great job explaining what branding is it's okay and you have the correct concept uh so to help you out please read what it says right here read this sentence the process of designing and building a brand very good that is branding teacher uh, mm -hmm. tell me please Branding is also brand. Yes, brand exactly. And mm -hmm. branding is, is the same. 
Actually, you could, mm, well, we translate branding como la marca, okay? We translate yes. that in, into Spanish. Porque no tenemos una palabra en español que defina ese proceso. Entonces se tomó prestado del inglés, ¿verdad? Esa palabra branding. Pero si lo traducimos así literalmente, por ejemplo, existe gerencia de marca. La gerencia de marca es la que se encarga de realizar el proceso de diseñar y construir la marca, ¿verdad? Gerencia todas las actividades que conllevan a construir y hacer reconocible su marca, a tomar una posición en el mercado con su marca. Entonces, okay. eh, branding, branding, sí es se marca. puede traducir como la marca, pero en realidad en español aún la marca está relacionado con un proceso. No solo, son dos cosas, ¿verdad? Solo la muy marca o todo el proceso, ¿sí? Yes, because uh, I was I was wrong about because I think branding is brand. Brand and branding is the same for me. Ah, okay. Well, I was wrong about that. Yes, yes, because you have to take both concepts. The first one okay. is if I see the brand as the name of the company or the business, all right, that's brand, the name, right? The name of your business, the name of your product, that's brand, yeah, eso es una cosa. Ahora, branding is the process of designing and building a brand, okay? All the activities you do to promote, to make recognizable, uh, to design the logos, the whole process, the revision, the research, and everything related to the positioning of your brand in the mind of customers, then this is branding, okay? All right. Okay, teacher. Good, good. Okay, people, if branding is the process of designing and building a brand, Let's think about what branding strategy is. What is a branding strategy? Branding strategy, strategy is in a marketing plan, the actions that will be carried out to publicize the brand, taking into account, account the design of the brand and the channels to publicity, to publicize, to publicize it. All right. Estilicemos un poquito la pronunciación, all right? Let's try to give a style when we pronounce, okay? Round your mouth when we have to round it. And stick your tongue out if it is needed, all right? For example, we have in a marketing plan, Okay, in a marketing plan, here we've got a pause. Okay, tenemos una pausa. Hagamos esa pausa para la entonación. The actions that will be carried, or carried out. Este es un solo. Carried out to publicize. Okay, I'm um, sorry. Publicize. All right. Publicize. The brand. Taking into account the design of the brand and the channels to publicize it. Okay, people, thank you very much, Kevin. And yes, that's correct. That's the branding strategy. So we are talking about the actions, all right? The actions, but we create this branding strategy. We use our creativity to uh, develop these actions, okay? You have to write them before, then you have to clarify them, and then you have to test them, right? You have to test them too. But mm, mm, putting apart, putting aside the test, then we'll say that the actions that will be carried out to publicize the brand. So actions like which ones? Ah, design the logo, the visual elements, uh, to, de to, def uh, to define what our business is, right? Entonces, ¿cuáles serán estas acciones? A ver, ¿cuáles son estas acciones? Las acabo de mencionar. Serían como, digamos, estas, ¿verdad? What are these actions? To 
to design, to design. To design the logo. Uh -huh. Color. Exactly. Rainbow and communi communicate, communicative uh -huh. name. All right, very good. Vaya, miren, eso lo voy a comentar así un poquito para que entendamos un poquito lo de communicate name. Fíjense que hay marcas, por ejemplo, nosotros eh, en El Salvador conocemos una marca famosa de zapatos y de sportwear que, de sportwear que um, lo pronunciamos como creemos que se pronunciaría en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, la marca es Nike para nosotros. Nike. Entonces, vienen eh, los publicistas, vienen los de eh, la gerencia de marca que se encarga de nuestra región, ¿verdad? De hacernos conocer esta marca y como ya la manejamos así, no nos la van a cambiar, nos la van a mantener, nos van a decir Nike, ¿verdad? Porque ya lo manejamos. Entonces, communicative name que sea el sello, el sello prácticamente se lo puso el customer en ese caso. Por ejemplo, otro caso que tenemos así es el de eh, Avon. Avon, nosotros lo, aquí en El Salvador lo conocemos como Avon, ¿verdad? Y decimos Avon, ¿verdad? Avon. En Guatemala no la conocen así. En Guatemala dicen Avon, ¿ok? Avon. Entonces van a venir los gerentes de marca, exacto, van a venir los gerentes de marca y como es un nombre comunicativo, o sea, es un nombre que se ha generado en la cultura hablada de la gente y reconociendo esa marca, entonces van a, a promocionarla de esa manera. Bien, a menos que lleven una campaña para meter su verdadero nombre, cómo se pronuncia. Recuerdo mucho, no sé si ustedes recuerdan como a manera de ejemplo, Mr. Donut. Mr. Donut, cuando recién empezaba, espero que lo recuerden ese tiempo aunque estábamos todos chiquitos, ¿verdad? En medio de los Transformers, en medio de los eh, Thundercats, quizás veíamos esos anuncios en donde decían sus productos, the products they produce. So they said, Uh, cuando llegaban a pedir en el anuncio, bueno, deme un cross sandwich, right? Y venía alguien o el locutor o la otra persona en el anuncio y le decía el otro actor, no, cross sandwich, ¿ok? Enseñaron a la gente a decir el nombre de sus productos, ¿ok? Communicative name, communicative seal. Uh, ellos dicen Mr. Donut cuando dicen el, el, el anuncio. Y nosotros, ¿cómo decimos? Mr. Dona, ¿verdad? Vamos al Mr. Dona. No decimos Mr. Donut, como lo dicen en el anuncio. Pero ellos educaron a la gente poco a poco con sus promociones, con su eh, publicidad, a decir los productos como ellos querían decirlos, como los llamaban, ¿verdad? Decían. Eh, deme un Delaware, ¿ok? Venía el otro y le decía, no, Delaware, ¿ok? Entonces ellos eh, enseñaron eso. Bien, esto es a manera de ejemplo y tal vez nos, eh, nos hace ver un poquito mejor eso de communicative name, right? Uh, for example, we have um, brands of business that They have a commercial name and they have a, um, a let's say, on paper name, right? They have an, an on paper name, a legal name, but they have a communicative name, okay? For example, we could say Coke, yeah, Coke. In El Salvador, we have Embotelladora Salvadoreña, okay? We don't have Coke. Yeah, but we have the brand as a business. So that's a communicative name, all right? So let's continue. This is just a, this is just a, um, a feedback, okay? We are not starting with, I mean, uh, we are not going to stack here. So let's go to the components of effective brand. 
Do you remember the components of effective brand? What are the components? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Do you remember this? A ver, leamos entonces desde el proceso básico. What's the basic process of branding? Vamos a ver, this is the basic process of branding. And let's think about these as stages. Let's think about these as stages. This one from one to five. Who wants to read them? Me, teacher. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, the brand basic, correct? Exactly. Okay. Conducting research, developing, clarifying a strategy, designing identity, creating touch points, managing assets. Assets. Oh, all right. Very good. Very good. Who wants to describe in simple words what this process is about? Alvaro? Do you want to describe? This process, please, for your classmates. And simple words. Um, the brand strategy. Mm -hmm. The basics. Uh, wait a minute. Conducting research. Developing clarif clarify strategy. Designing identify, creating touch points, the money, money, I don't say money. Managing. Money, managing assist. Okay. This is from the verb manage, right? Managing. Um, managing. Manage, managing. Yes. Managing. Okay. So we could say also to manage the assets, right? To manage the assets will be the same as managing the assets. So it means that we are going to work in our favor, right? Using our assets as a media to publicize our brand, to get a positioning in the mind of customers because that's the main purpose, right? So the managing assets, remember, what are the managing assets? Do you remember? Kevin, do you remember? Uh, the managing assets. Uh -huh. When you manage your assets, right? What is that? What actions could be? Really, I don't remember, teacher. Okay, assets son todos los recursos que yo tengo. The inventory. ¿sí? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The control, the the inbound and outbound uh, about the product all right actually assets in this case we are talking about our people okay nuestro equipo right our people our transportation media our vehicles right those are assets our buildings are assets uh we could think about maybe uh I don't know, a recreational place that we have for our employees, that's an asset too. He's okay. all kind of active uh, that the organization is on. Exactly. Out. exactly. So you have to manage the assets in order to publicize your brand. For example, you can make brand or put a Seal and the uniforms, right? 
and the uniforms of your employees, right? You can use these assets, yeah, these assets to publicize your brand, okay? Your brand and do it in a very aesthetic form, yeah? You use your colors uh, to differentiate your people, yeah? To different, differentiate your people. Anywhere we see a person wearing those colors, we will relate that to your brand, okay? To your brand, because you're using your uniforms to publicize your brand or to get a positioning. Okay, what other assets? We said the vehicles, yes. Todos los vehículos de las compañías tienen su logo, ¿verdad? Y tienen hasta cómo comunicarse, Twitter, Facebook, all contact, right? All contact information is right there in the vehicles because they are moving around the city, they are moving around places. So they are publicizing their brand, okay? Así es como publicitamos nuestra marca y hacemos una, un posicionamiento de nuestra marca en visualmente en los customers or potential consumers, potential customers, ¿sí? Ahí agarramos también eh, potenciales, ¿verdad? Para moverlos, porque acuérdense que el propósito principal de branding que era, do you remember? This one, right? El propósito principal es llegar hasta este punto, miren. Hasta este componente, ¿sí? Quizás este es el que va a resultar si hacemos todo esto súper bien. ¿ve? This is the result in action or the result in component. Que la gente nos recomiende, ¿verdad? That the people tells that we are a very good brand and they recommend us to their friends, to their family, to their relatives, to anybody, to another country, to, uh, to another company, yeah? So we brand our business in order to have the brand experience of the customer, okay? They recommend our brand, all right? Hasta aquí vamos bien, jóvenes? Tell me, please. Hemos resumido en pocos minutos toda la unidad 3, ¿ok? Ahora, solo recordemos los términos, ¿sí? Let's remember the terms. Pronunciation of terms, all right? The branding basics. It's a process, remember. It's a process. Stages. Number one, conducting research. Conducting research. Everybody, please. Conducting research. Conducting research. Conducting research. Yes, very good pronunciation, Kevin. Conduct. Conducting research. Research. Okay. Then, number two, developing. 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 Because the verb is develop, right? Develop. And then clarifying strategy, clarifying, 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 clarifying strategy. Yes, exactly. Clarifying strategy, strategy, strategy. Mm -hmm. Designing, designing, designing. Everybody, please. Designing, designing, designing. 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 Remember, NT only N, identity. 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 Correct. Creating. 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 Touch points. Touch, Touch points. points. Esta palabra es como algo trabada, ¿verdad? A Touch ver, digamos la rápida cuatro veces. Touch point, Touch, Touch point. point. Touch point. It's kind Touch of. Point. Yeah. Touch point. Touch point. <laughs> Try to say it five times, yeah. Touch phone, touch phone, touch phone. Oh, it's kind of difficult, yeah. Okay, ese está como, a ver, digamos todos, camarón, caramelo, okay? Vamos a ver, camarón, caramelo. Camarón, caramelo. Again, five camarón, times. Camarón, caramelo. Camarón, caramelo. 
Camarón, camarón. Caramelo. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like this one. Tochpo, tochpo, ufo. It's, it's kind of difficult to say. Right. For us in the Spanish, I think it, like, okay. For us, it's speak Spanish, right? It's kind of this. Okay, then. Managing, 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 yeah. managing, 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 assets, 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 son los activos fijos, ¿verdad? activos, uh -huh. resources of a business, resources of a company. Okay, Edwin, please, can you read? In the brand strategy, the visual elements you find in this uh, sketch, visual elements. Okay, for the brand strategy, we have logo, website, business card, brochures, media, social media, digital marketing, in price, customer service, product or service, employees. Very good. So the visual, which ones do you think they are? Logo, website, what other? The visuals. Do you think all of them are, vi are visual? Social media teacher, maybe. All Brochure. Right, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The website, right? Mm -hmm. And if we use in the assets like employees, something visual for them, right? Then we can say that they are part of the visual elements of the brand strategy, right? Mm -hmm. What about the product or, serv or service? Actually, the packaging, the packaging is visual. It has to take our brand over there, right? Our logo, our colors, our own design. That's visual too, okay? Very good. Now, if we think about the touch points, touch points, which ones of these are touch points? Touch points, websites, mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. guys help me here, social media, brochure teacher, Digital yeah, market. that okay. Yes, both. Salvador, Post very good. Nelson, service. very good. Excuse me, Kevin. Customer service, no. Yeah, it could be a touch point exactly because we can make calls, right? Mm -hmm. Out calls yeah. and also in, right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It's not only in but out. All right, those are touch points. And how do we design the identity? What elements of these do you think take place designing the identity? Logo. Logo. Mm -hmm. More than anything, right? More than anything, the logo. Yeah, the logo, the name, the type, the type of uh, uh, letters we are using, right? The size of the letters, if we are using capital or uppercase, uh, I'm sorry, lower cases, right? So yes, all right, people, very good. I think we are doing a very good job here uh, understanding this. Now, these are other elements. Remember, the management of the brand requires these touch points like customer service, all right? The description of the product, these are elements, right? The value proposition, yeah, value proposition, what my product is for, what my product does, okay? What my product is for, what my product um, does. So what my product is worthy of, okay? Then the price, the price is between both. Look, 
The price is between both. What does my product do? And what does my product promise, right? So we'll say description and promise, description and promise. So it's going to define our price. Now, the strong impression. The strong impression is about the visual elements we saw already, logo and repetition, repetition, promotion, promotion, all right? So there we go. That takes us to this, brand definition, brand values, brand identity, brand promise. Vamos a ver, vamos a irlo diciendo. Ustedes me los van diciendo, ¿ok? No voy a hablar yo, ustedes los repiten, ¿sí? Vamos, one, two, and three. Brand definition. Brand definition. Brand definition. Brand values. Brand, values, brand, values, brand, brand values, promise. Brand promise. Brand, brand, brand identity. Brand identity. Brand identity. Brand differentiation. Brand differentiation. Brand market position. Position. Brand, brand identity. And brand, brand experience. experience. All right. What are the most important brand definition and brand experience, right? The uh, starting and the ending. So here we start with this uh, vision, right? This is our vision to get here, to get to be, or I mean, to get to be the best brand in the region, okay? How come? Ah, uh, because people are recommending my brand. Okay, people are recommending my brand, and I have a position in the market. All right, people. So, uh, do we get everything here, or do you have any question about this? Is there any question so far? No questions? Okay, no then question. let's go and let's make a feedback about the five more common causative verbs. What is a causative verb? Well, these are the five most common. Get, make, have, let, help. What are these verbs for? These are verbs that describes how someone or something causes the action of someone or something else. All right, so a causes than than b that b makes something else all right this is what we are going to um, define okay hay algunos de estos que el verbo que sería la acción principal verdad este lleve to o no lleve to so we use get for example with the particle to in the next verb make have let and help they don't take to uh, then don't they don't make that the other verb take to okay they don't need it but help is the only one that it's optional it's optional you decide if you feel that it's needed like a purpose then you use it if it is not a purpose, if it is just an action, okay, then help and without the particle too. So this is why we have this, right? We're going to start with the causative verbs too. Let's stop sharing. Vámonos al manual. Let's go to the manual. And let's remember the grammar focus we've got there. There we have on page twenty seven, was it right? Okay, here.
how to use make and get. Remember the formula, right? Or the grammar structure will be make plus the object or someone who is going to perform the action plus the verb in the base form. Then we have get plus the object or the person who is going to perform the action plus the infinitive form of the verb. Examples, the first one says, the marketing department makes employees revive goals and metrics every month. So we don't use two, look, just the base form. But when we use get, yes, we need the particle two in the infinitive um, verb form. So I can get customers to lower premium services. There we have the examples, right? Let's see this one. The poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. So look without two. The brand experience offered by Samsung, Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phones. Prefer without two. All right. Here we've got to feel after get, right? And look, we have the project manager said there is one verb, first verb. It is not possible, then we need to with this um, causative verb to get all those customers to feel, right? Identify with the brand in a short time. The advertising event will get people to order products online more often. And you can use them with any tense, all right? You can use, use them with any tense and also with any a pronoun, any subject, okay? So now we are going to start to see these other two verbs. Here we've got two verbs. Today we are going to start with help and let. Help and let, all right? These are the verbs we are going to study. And these are the formulas, help someone plus the base form of the verb or the infinitive. As I said, it's up to you. And sometimes we need this like a purpose, okay? Acordémonos que una de las funciones del infinitivo es eh, expresar un propósito, ¿verdad? Entonces, si es ese la función que tiene, si es esa la función que tiene, entonces le ponemos el to. Si no es esa la función, entonces no es necesario ponerle to. Vamos a ver. Let someone base, uh, let plus someone plus base of, plus the base form of the verb. That's the other formula, okay? This is the other formula. And we are going to start by our discussion tonight. Our discussion is about two questions. I will ask you two, two questions tonight. First of all, Let's talk about a new brand in the market, all right? Let's talk about a new brand in the market. How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one. Okay, ahí la tenemos. A ver, todos en el chat participando, participating and giving your opinions. Okay, how do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one?
Yes, Salvador, you're right. You have to design a logo for the product or the service. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else do we need to create a new brand or to restore a new one? Everybody go to the chat. Aquí en el, en el Zoom estamos. To renew logo, very good. Thank you very much, Karen. We need a feedback of the product, great. It is necessary to refresh an actual, an update, right? Mm -hmm. And update the brand, all right. Very good, thank you very much. Now, I will ask another question. I need to improve advertising strategies. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. So I will ask you another question. Is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone? To everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay, Salvador, yes, you're right too, because it's better, he says, to focus in a specific market, to be more valuable, or to, um, a, this, there is a word, um, to concentrate all the efforts, right, uh, in order to get better results. Yes, very good, Salvador. Mm -hmm. 
It is effective because winner participation in the market and consumer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in, it means, Hosman, that uh, you think about potential customers, right? You think about potential customers, like hunting. Yes, it is. Okay, hunting potential customers, all right? Okay, because the market is too big. Yeah, you're losing uh, resources, you are losing efforts. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's think about these two questions and let's take this into the building vocabulary we have had the whole unit. And let's do this exercise. We want to unscramble the words according to the definition, okay? And we are going to read them, all right? This is just for building the vocabulary. Okay. I will mute myself, all right? I will mute myself and you are going to do this exercise. Vamos a ver, Jose Salvador, Kevin, Nelson, everybody, Hosman, Karen, Lorena, everybody, Santiago, please participate and I will mute myself. So you have to unscramble the words according to the uh, definition of each, each term, okay, each term. Uh, Kevin, ¿cree que puede entrar usted para escribirlo? Do you think you can write them on the board? Kevin? ¿O alguien que pueda entrar? A escribirlo en la pizarra. A ver, Nelson. <clears throat> okay. Can you, Nelson? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay, please. Um, start now. I will mute myself. The first I think is identity. Yeah. Yes. Repetition is the key here. So please everybody read, okay? Read aloud and give your opinions. The people way recognize the, the brand. It may be through, through the logo or other associated visuals. Brand, image. Yes, image. Yeah. The yes. Idea of the brand that people develop in their means and what they expect from the brand. Participate. Maybe brand personality. Uh, 
Ừ, dạ. Is the emotional or personal qualities that the customer associate with a particular brand? Okay. It's brand experience. Number four. Yeah, the last uh, stage. Yes. A combination of everything that a customer goes through while pushing and using uh, no puedo mover esto. and using that brand. A different brand differentiation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is how. How? Well, this is how it stands out in the crowd. Crowd. Have a brand. Kerna style. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very well done. Look, this is with a letter T. Differentiation with a letter T. Differentiation. All right. This one. Mm -hmm. I don't know how can modify this word. You've got to select. Uh, Let me do it for you. Just one sec. Uh, uh, hmm? Thank you. <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem. There you go. All right, differentiation. So let's read them. Brand identity is the way people recognize the brand. All right, brand identity is the way people recognize the brand. It may be through the logo or other associated visuals. Okay, Ana Lorena, please read number one. Okay, teacher, brand identity, the way people recognize the brand, it may be through the logo or other associated visuals. As associated. Associated, remember associated. T? Mm -hmm. And this is identity. If you want to say the T, it's okay. If you don't want, it's okay. Identity, identity, okay? Number two, brand image, brand image. The idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect from the brand. Uh, could you please read it, Eulise? Number two. The idea of the brand, the people development in their mind and what they expect from the brand. Very good. Now, number three is about brand personality. Okay, brand personality. It's just as human, right? Brand personality. It is the emotional or personal qualities that customers associate with a particular brand. Edwin, please read number three. Good teacher. Uh, brand personality is emotional or personal qualities that customers associate with a particular brand. Right, particular, particular. Mm -hmm. Now, brand experience is a combination of everything that a customer goes through while purchasing and using that brand. Uh, let's see. Salvador, please read number four. Brand experience. A combination for everything that a customer goes 
through while purchasing and using that brand. Very good. Brand differentiation. This is how a brand stands out, out in the crowd. Uh, Alvaro, please, can you read number five? Yes, brand different, different, differentiation. This is a, how a brand stand, stand out in the crowd. Crowd, crowd, crowd. okay. This word is differentiation, differentiation, okay. Differentiation. Okay, Alvaro? Okay, okay. Uh huh. Say it with me. Differentiation. Dif differentiation. Very good. Very good. And this one is stands. Stands. Hmm? Stands. Very good. Stands. Remember to pronounce letter S at the end of the word. All right. Now, guys, let's go back to the manual. Because there are some vocabulary before going through the causative verbs, all right? The, the causative verbs. We want to cover all the material tonight, so let's go over there. It's worth. Okay, we move uh, to page number 29, page number Are you guys there? Yes. Okay. I lost the window. <laughs> All right, here it is. Page 29, page 29. My goodness. Here we are. This is the building vocabulary we want to study right now. And it's related to branding too, okay? It's everything that we have been uh, saying in simple words, now we are going to do it in uh, technical terms, all right? Technical terms, so brand awareness, brand awareness, perceived quality, perceived quality, brand associations, brand associations, Brand loyalty, brand loyalty, proprietary uh, assets, proprietary assets. All right, let's match the branding components to their description. So take your time and read them. It is difficult, teacher. <laughs> yes, it is, because these are technical. We have been speaking in normal way, I mean, in a, an everyday English. So now we are trying to put this in the technical context, all right? This is the technical context. But this is for association, don't worry, don't worry, you will find it. Okay, let's look at brand awareness. Brand awareness. 
el conocimiento de la marca, que todos estén alertados de que existe mi marca. Brand awareness. Uh -huh. Guys, <laughs> todavía estamos leyendo, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, no worries. Yes. Vale, vamos a hacer una cosa. Nos vamos a los breakout rooms y los, y los, los discutimos, ¿sí? Para que tengan chance de mayor comodidad y estén más así en confianza. Quizás ahorita entre todos no... no no lo quieren hablar. Yo siento que están bien calladitos el día de hoy. Hoy es viernes, chicos. Hey, come on. Vamos a ver. Vamos a mandar al breakout room para que hagamos esa discusión de esos términos. Sinceramente, ya los manejamos, ya los explicamos, pero ahorita los estamos viendo así como con palabras bien elaboradas, ¿ok? Please join your rooms. Teacher. Hello? Teacher. Hello? Tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm in a call in my work. In my work. <laughs> All right, no Again. problem. But you may join the group as a listener. Oh, okay. Eh, pero ya le quité para hablarle. Ya no me aparece la ventanita. Eh, váyase abajo en donde está breakout rooms en las opciones y ahí le va a aparecer para unirse en el que le tocaba. Ah, ya. Yeah. Gracias. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Elias, please join your room. Boris, please join your room. Santiago, please join your room. Carlos Ernesto, please join your room. Wilber, Rafael, Jose, and Fatima too, please.
Hello, Ulises. Hello, Salvador. Hello, teacher. How is it going? Ah, okay. I was writing the sentence. Salvador? Sí. Uh, what do you think about brand awareness? No, deja, no tengo idea. La number, number two. Number two is quality publicity. And the, the first sentences, the customer perception. Mm -hmm. Esa calidad percibida es la primera oración, la que está ahí de customer. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Puedes marcar? ¿No puedes marcar? Una, dos. Veré. Mm, yes. Um, the customer consistently may purchase products from their preferred brands. Mm.
things. I think maybe this is number five. Um. Could be. Me confundí, no era esta. Era la otra la que iba a borrar. Maybe these three. Lo voy a colocar y next. If, if you have another idea, I erase. Mm -hmm. Es como all the information, toda la información que se considere that is considered in the real, en el ámbito intelectual, mm -hmm. que ofrezca una ventaja competitiva y que no deba ser divulgada. Pienso <laughs> que eso es como los bienes de propiedad, ¿va? porque sí, sí. Pues no puedes divulgar algo que es propiedad de la empresa. A esa, a esa otra palabra es divulgado, dis, disclose. Disclose. Mm. Es como, eh, ah, that it sí. should not be, no puede ser disclosed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Divulgada. Ah, pues sí, es la 5. Yes. Yo creo que estamos bien ahí. Yes. Divulgada o relevada. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ajá, ajá. Revelada. Yes. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, for us, mm -hmm. uh, this way, uh, we were, uh, uh, no, we were, what was it? We were, <laughs> uh, uh huh. 
Don't worry. Así respondimos. ¿Cómo sería el pasado? We have, okay. No. Uh, we answered like this. We answered, uh, we answered like, like this. Like this. Okay. O puede decir, these are our answers. Así en una forma más sencilla. ¿verdad? Estas son nuestras respuestas. These are our answers. Uh, this is our Okay. Mm -hmm. These are our answers. Okay. <laughs> these are. I, uh -huh. I these, was confused. And don't worry. These are our answers. All right. Okay. Very good. I see. Fine here. Don't worry, you did it well, a job. Yes, you did it good. Mm -hmm. okay. I think you related, right? You related the, the terms. So you did a very good job. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good. You yes, may practice well. reading them. You may yes, practice yes, reading them. For yes, example, you can read yes. like this. Brand awareness yes. is, and then you say what it is, is, extent to which customers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. Okay? Read it like that. Brand yes, awareness you. is. All right? Yes. Okay. Continue. Salvador. Okay. You are ready? Did you finish? Teacher, I'm not sure really. Um, no problem, no problem. Uh, do you want to show it? Yes. Hmm? I just use... Uh, the key words, very oh, good. Or, mm -hmm. I, uh, no, but brand awareness mm -hmm. with into the consumer's mind. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, perceived. Perceived quality. quality. Perceived quality. Mm -hmm. uh, perception. I don't know. The, the, yes, the, because of perceived perception, perception, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brand as your associ association. Mm -hmm. uh, Familiar, but I don't know really. Really, mm -hmm. I don't understand or I don't know what is the meaning of about each, one. each sentence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brand loyal, loyalty, mm -hmm. uh, it should not be disclosed. disclosed. And mm -hmm. property <laughs> as, assets. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Products. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure. Okay. Assets are ev uh, every element that belongs to the company. Okay. Assets, activos, right? Proprietary is that you registered your assets legally, legally, and nobody else can have the. A oh, maybe it's intellectual property. Exactly, yes. Okay. Yes. Nobody yeah. else can use your information. There is some information that is reserved only for your company and the people involved in your business, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. and nobody has to know them. That is why it says it should not be disclosed. Right? It should not be disclosed. Que no puede ser revelado, no puede ser divulgado, okay? Okay. Uh, here is, here is. Uh, mm -hmm. Loyalty. Mm -hmm. 
is here. No. Exactly, exactly. Because regardless of convenience or price, uh, you will buy the product anyway, right? Anyway, you are loyal to your brand. It doesn't yeah. matter yeah. if you uh, change, mm -hmm. I don't know, anything. You change the price or whatever, you are going to continue acquiring the brand. That's loyalty. Um, I, I'm loyalty uh, regardless of convenience of price. Uh, digamos que soy leal sin importar el precio, algo así. Exactly. You always, I mean, I'm sorry, you will always get the product regardless to, to price, right? Okay. Nothing will affect your preference, right? That's loyalty. And the other relations? Awareness. Awareness is when you make people know about you, right? And they can recognize you. Mm -hmm. You made your differentiation, right? Is, is here? No. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm? Our, our, awareness is... The meaning is como conciencia, algo así. No, es como estar, como estar alerta de algo, como conocer que existe algo, el conocimiento de que existe algo. Is it only you in the group? Well, really not. I see some. Estaban como oyentes. Ah, okay. Boris, are you in already? Are you available? Alvaro, are you there? Sorry, yes. teacher, I'm driving. I'm there. Okay. Five minutes. Okay, okay. Alvaro, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, we are trying to do the match here. What the three is, is correct here, teacher. Brand association is the attributes of a brand that come into the consumer's mind. Yes, exactly. Correct, you did it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, now we can mm. sing like Dora. <laughs> I need we, to did we did it, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. I need to practice all uh, vocabulary. All the vocabulary. vocabulary, yes. It's, yeah. uh, yeah. This is association and the keywords, but you did a very good job also uh, looking for the keywords. That's a very good strategy, but this time it didn't work, but sometimes it works. Yeah. The key, the keywords only uh, help me. In a one cent, in a one in relation. One. <laughs> in okay. One <laughs> okay, there we are. Hello. We are on the way. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Good.
Okay, people, here we are. Kevin, do you want to share your to share your screen, please? Could you please do it? Uh, you talk, okay? I'm sorry. You told Kevin. Yes, I said uh, Kevin. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Okay, people. So now let's read these as uh concepts right we are going to define the concepts for example we are going to say brand awareness is extent to which customers are familiar with the distinctive quality itself or brand all right and then perceived quality is then you are going to read let's read uh anna lorena perceived quality what is perceived quality Perceived quality is the customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of a product. Very good. And continue, please, Edwin, with number three. Number three is brand associations. The attributes of a brand that come into the customer mind when the brand it discussed. Very good. Number four, please. Uh, I think we were once or, uh, already in the session. Is it? Are you there, Wilbur? Okay. Let's see. Boris, you said you were ready, right? Yes. yes, yes, okay. yes. okay. So, number four. What is brand, brand loyalty? Number four mm -hmm. is a uh, those consumers consider consented purchase product from their proper brands regardless of convenience or price. All right. Let's refine the pronunciation. It will be brand loyalty is when customers customers consistently consistently purchase consistently purchase products. Purchase product purchase. Yes, purchase products from their preferred brands from their preferred brands from their preferred brands regardless regardless of convenience of convenience or price or price all right very regardless. good yes regardless uh -huh. salvador number five please ¿Cómo se dice lo primero? Proprietary. 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 Assets. Access. No, assets. O asset. Yes. All information that is considered in the realm of intellectual proprietary that property. offered property that offer competitive advantage and no veo allí, that, and it that is should true. no be disclosed disclosed very good disclosed. Mm -hmm. very good ajá llegó bien cerca de las pronunciaciones salvador muy bien very good Okay, very close in the pronunciation. Tal vez le, le afectó un poquito que habían varias líneas por ahí, pero de ahí por lo demás creo que se acercó mucho a las pronunciaciones. All right, people. I think you felt this, as you said before. Teacher, this is very difficult. 
But actually, this is what we were studying, okay? This is what we were studying, but in technical terms, okay? In technical terms. Now, guys, we have... Um, in branding, we usually conduct research, but to start our process of branding, we have to make a checklist, all right? We have to make a checklist of the points uh, that we are going to take in account or the things we want to uh, make people aware, okay? So we say, for example, one second. Solo las vamos a leer, ¿ok? Para que las veamos ya más en eh, amplio, o sea, abramos un poquito el concepto que acabamos de leer por medio de preguntas, ¿ok? This is through some questions, ¿ok? For example, Brand awareness, this is a guide, okay? This is a guide. We are going to check these points, right? These points, brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, proprietary assets. So for example, for the brand awareness, we are going to check these aspects. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's minds when shopping? Okay, for example, these associations are something with nature, something that it's too chemical, something that it is aesthetic, something that it is in a, uh, of a high class, right? So perceived quality, do customers get the brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Okay, perceived quality. Can I get this product? Um, I in the possibility or in the accessibility of getting these products because of the price, because of the quality, because it is available anywhere that I visit, right? Anywhere that I go as a customer with the needs of that product. Then brand associations. Uh, okay, the brand association is when the brand is able to activate associations in the customer's minds. So is the brand able to activate, activate associations in the customer's minds? Uh, what do we relate with that brand? Do we relate the brand with quality? Do we as customers relate that brand with an overpriced product? Do we relate them with in a bad negative, in a bad or a negative perception like, uh, I associate this badly, negatively. I don't like that that brand. Okay, does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Oh. Are the brand extensions in the market? All right. Then the brand loyalty. We Can need the customer. Hello? Uh, see, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, what is the meaning about asso association in a specific uh, word? Asso like, association? Uh-huh. Relación o asociación. En este caso estamos hablando de con qué yo relaciono la, la marca. La relaciono con cualidad, con calidad, perdón, o la relaciono negativamente. Eso es, ok, okay. en este caso. Okay. Mm -hmm. ok, brand loyalty. Brand loyalty is, are there many loyal customers for this brand? Uh, loyal customers. Do we have like a, um, a register? register of customers in any way, for example, uh, um, a list of clients, I don't know, maybe because they are um, buying or acquiring my product constantly or regularly, and it is registered in each purchase they do, okay? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth, be it word of mouth, boca en boca. Are customers satisfied with the brand? This is what we are going to see in the brand loyalty. And also they will be with you or acquiring your product regardless of price, regardless the convenience. If they have to go to Mars to buy your product, they will go, 
Okay, that's loyalty. So pro proprietary assets, does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Well, actually, is there any secret ingredient in your product that can't be disclosed and that makes your brand differentiated from any other uh, product? Okay, this is what we are going to see, the, proprietary, the intellectual property, right? Okay, then, so let's go and check this conversation, yeah? And we are going to see all of that in this conversation summarized. I went into a business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way, uh, way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion, promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, so Mateo and Angela. Okay, is there any question about the words that you see in this conversation? Barely get the picture. What is the meaning? Barely is con mucha dificultad. Apenas. Pronunciation teacher, the barrel, barrel. Barely. 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 Mm -hmm. I use barely. this word when I say, for example, I can barely hear you. Okay? I can barely hear you when I can't hear you. Cuando no los puedo escuchar, I say, I can barely hear you. So it means with difficulties. Okay? Thank you. Very good. Barely. Barely. Any other word? Are we okay? Le, legal esa frase, legal. Legal, 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 legal trouble. Uh, oh, legal. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea, the complete idea is from here. The best way out of legal trouble. La mejor forma de salir de sus problemas legales. Legal okay. trouble. Legal trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's role play. Lorena, you are going to be Angela and Alvaro is going to be Mateo, all right? You may start. Okay. Alvaro, please. You are Mateo. Okay. I went into business as a, a lawyer, as a lawyer. Oh, wait a minute. I can see. <laughs> okay. I went to the business as a lawyer six months ago, but uh, but I barely get any customer. I help people find to the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to the prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some prom promotion for me business card. Your client can help you to do all the advertising. You already this by what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, kind of clients, kind of clients. Kind of clients. All right. So if we think about these, they are branding themselves, right? The personal branding. Personal branding, because here we are talking about someone with a career, like a lawyer, right? As a lawyer. So they are specialized in different kind or types 
of areas or fields uh, in the low, um, in the low, let's say, field career or real, yeah, real. So uh, they say how to promote, how to promote themselves and how to build their own brand. This is what they are talking about. So if we come right here, let's look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. Let's read. I, mm-hmm, people, mm-hmm, the best way out of legal trouble. Legal trouble. Number one. Mm -hmm. Teacher, excuse me, can, can you explain the structure when, when the paragraph says the kind of clients you want to work with? Work with is a phrase of burden. No. I know. No, that's a preposition. And this is a... Um hook preposition, okay? And it means eh, que recibe la acción, ¿verdad? Ellos reciben la acción con esa preposición. Uh, who do you want to work with? Work with. Uh, ese es un tema aparte, pero eh, podríamos explicarlo así simplemente como eh, lo puede encontrar en los, en los libros como las preposiciones colgantes, algo así se llama. In Espanol, uh, but you will find this like prepositions, okay? Prepositions in questions, okay? Prepositions in questions. All right. Okay. Lo que está refiriéndose es que lo primero que usted preguntó está eh, re, como nosotros cuando ponemos con quién, en vez de ese con, okay? Ese con nosotros lo ponemos al inicio. Ese con va en inglés en otro lugar, que okay? va al final. Oh. All right? Por ejemplo, ¿a quién? Ese to, who are you talking to? Yeah. Esa preposición va al final. Para nosotros va con quién estás hablando. ¿A quién le estás hablando? ¿Ok? Ok. All right. Así en, en manera rápida. And number one, let's complete this one. I help people mm -hmm. in the best way of, of the legal trouble. Trouble. Uh -huh. so, yes. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble. Very good. Uh -huh. yes, Entonces es la que está en negrita. Miren, help people find. ¿Cómo usamos help? Help lo usamos como un causative. ¿Verdad? Este es un causative verb. And it's uh, this I, or this person, Mateo, is causing the help, okay, is causing the finding of a best way, all right? Okay, vamos a ver, number two. Let customer. Mm -hmm. I just usually let customers do. Let customer it? do. Some promotion, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Some advertising will be the same, right? Number three. Your, no, clients, your, clients, your clients help you help you to do all the advertising. Very good. Help you to do. Uh-huh. Exactly. So like a purpose. Help you to do, right? Like building something. So if we see, again, help plus someone plus the base form or the infinitive with two. So it can be bare. It can be also with the particle two. It's up to you to do that. So let's, oh, here we've got the example, all right? For example, the training helps small business owners replicate the success of big brands. You see, no two. A marketing expert could help you to understand, to understand, all right? 
then. Let doesn't require any to in the infinitive, right? We need just the base form of the verb. Some companies let clients go through a service trial before they decide to purchase. An effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their product. All right, we are going to complete this one in a different way, okay? And it will be, I think, the last activity today. One moment. Hmm. Here. Okay. Help can be in any time, any tense, all right? For example, John is helping me paint and I don't use to, okay? Because it's just an action. John is helping me paint. I can use also John is helping me to paint and it's not a, uh, it's not a mistake. You can use it or not use it. Then for example, there are other positives, not only help, but I want to show you the help. Can you help me solve? Look, can you help me solve these math equi equi e I'm sorry, equations? So let's see the other one. Okay, these are for help. You see, help and help. But look, we have other causatives, other causatives. Por eso tenemos que estar sabedores que cuando tenemos otros causatives, sí vamos a usar el to. For example, require to feel. Okay require you to feel. Uh, necesitamos siempre un object, ¿verdad? Que va a realizar la acción. Luego tenemos, por ejemplo, le dijimos que no necesita. Ahora, acá, permítanme, remind me, remind, aquí es un causative, ¿verdad? Entonces, to call, ¿ya? Yeah? Remind me to call, permit me to return, ¿ok? Uh, solamente con help va a ser opcional, ¿ok? Solamente con help va a ser opcional si le ponemos to o le ponemos eh, eh, o le ponemos eh, solamente la base, la forma base. Le ponemos to o no se lo ponemos. Ok, veamos entonces cómo usamos let and help. Y esta sí es nuestra última actividad. And we, we want to complete the sentences right here. Think about how your business Mm -hmm. Your customers. Y vamos a poner estos dos verbos, right? Help as a causative and satisfy. All right? There we go. ¿Cómo lo ponemos? A ver, leamos la número uno. Let's read it. Think about how your business help your customer satisfy. Satisfy? Satisfy their needs. Okay. Satisfy. ¿Le ponemos to o no le ponemos to? Does it take to or not? Yes. It's two. optional, all right? It's two. optional. Two. You can say to satisfy their needs and it is okay. You can say to satisfy your needs and it is okay. Usually you are going to use to status, okay? Para nosotros es como muy necesario, ¿verdad? Todavía. Um, with practice, we will see that it is not necessary sometimes. All right, number two. Investors won't let companies mm -hmm. to develop, to develop, develop. Mm -hmm. develop without a plan to improve business. 
Very good. So here we don't use to because let doesn't require it. Okay, investors won't let companies develop without a plan for business. All right, number three. The plan helps employees mm -hmm. become part of, of the brand. All right. Mm -hmm. And as we said, we could use two. Okay. Number four. Being specific about a business brand, let customers identify our product easily. Easily. All right, good. Mm -hmm. And number five? Branding. Branding. Let the customer add a perceived value to the product. Again? Branding. Nore. Branding let the branding let the customer uh, add a perceived value to the product. Okay. There we go. Okay. El lunes vamos a hacer ejercicios acerca de esto. Lo vamos a hacer sin relación a branding para que nos ubiquemos más o menos de cómo esto funciona, ¿ok? En, en general, ¿ok? Bien. It's 10.02, so allow me to call the roll. Please, everybody, turn your camera on, and when I call your name, you say present. Acuérdense que ahora tiene que quedar subida la tarea hasta la última, ¿verdad? De la unidad 3 o sección 3. Así que, por favor, cumplamos con ese requisito que es necesario que tengamos esa calificación completa. ¿Ok? Bien, vamos a ver. Híjole, ya hay. Acá esto por acá. A ver. Okay. ¿You guys ready? Yes. Yes, I was. Okay, thank you. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Here I am. Okay, Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Present, teacher. Eh, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Present teacher. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. José Miguel Torres Hernández. I'm here teacher. Ok, José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here teacher. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Ok, Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Present Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present Rafael teacher. Ale thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Thank you. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Thank you, Wilber. Okay, people, uh, the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight <clears throat> is for, uh, today is the 20th, right? So, one, two, and Boris. Boris, do you want to stay? Sorry, teacher, today now. Okay, is there anyone who wants to stay, uh, to have any consult, any thought, any question? Solo uno, porque uh -huh. si no, no me permiten a mí, fíjense, lo siento, miren, voy a quedar mal con todos. 
Vaya, ok, pues no hay ningún problema, miren, pero si ahorita se deciden, el último que queda se queda conmigo, ok, no hay problema. All right, people, have a very good weekend. Check your homework, everybody. Okay, See you Monday. Bye. Yes, bye bye, Jose Miguel. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Have a very good night, Rafael. I know you're busy. Goodbye, Carlos. Goodbye, Santiago.